Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Amazon African Motives, still working on engineering science and four. So in this platform guys, we shall have uh, a continuation working uh, on stress, strain and the Young's uh, modulus of uh, elasticity. So we are going to focus on the question paper. This was actually written June 2017 where uh, I want you to see that these questions guys, they are actually referring from these question papers and they just want you to understand what's happening so if you're new guys you can consider being part of the family uh based on african motive so that you won't miss any of the classes by subscribing so anyways let us quickly uh rise through the qu first question we are given on 7.1 we are given a square bar with sides 120 millimeters and 0 0.95 meters is actually loaded by a tensile force of 300 kilonewton uh, the Young's modulus of elasticity for the bar is 110 gigapascal so this is gigapascal calculate this okay let's just take some information here guys um we are given a square uh, in this case which means this size they're actually equal so we have got the length, uh, this the size here, which is 120 millimeters, guys. Remember, divide by 1,000 is going to give us uh, 0, 0,12 uh, in meters. This one 0, 0,12 also in meters. So this is the length that is. Remember, it's a square, but it's a solid shape that you're talking about. So you're saying from this point because this one it's a bar that you're going to have. So it will be taken from this point to another point that is where we are having a distance of what of uh, 0 0.95 in between from this square to another cross section because you shall have another cross section of a square on the other hand there so that is where we are saying there is a distance of what of 0 0.95 meters that is the length like to complete the volume of the solid that is going to be there but you are focusing with this shape for now all right so what do we have in this case the question is to calculate in this case uh, uh from the size that we are giving a uh, given the force okay let's just take also the force here of 100 is 300 kilo newton 300 kilo remember kilo guys means times 10 to the exponent of 3 or times 1000 then we are given the young's modulus of elasticity which is e as uh, 110 uh, gigapascal and remember to the exponent of 9 so the first question that we have is to calculate the stress so how can we have our stress so in this case we can play around with the uh, stress guys remember this formula for stress all right that uh, stress is equivalent to uh, force over area that is our stress which is uh, measured in what in pascals Remember, force over area, pascals. Uh, so we have got the force, yes, the area, which means we are referring to the area of this cross section, which is a square. And we know that area of a square is going to give us side squared. So you definitely, we have to multiply uh, these two. So our, we are going to have F over S squared, which is our force. 300 kilo which i said is times 10 to the exponent of 3 over side squared which is this area now which is just take uh, one side which is 0 0.12 squared we are talking about the sides of a square not the length which was moved from one point to another no the sides of a, the of a square are the ones which gives you the area so definitely by working out these guys we must we are supposed to obtain our stress so our stress is going to be this value 208 uh, we are going to have 3 3 and uh, 3 3 again 3 comma 3 3 pascals so that's what you're going to have there but we can convert this to mega pascals normally that is the best conversion that you can do so remember mega pascals mega means to the exponent of six so for you to convert to this mega pascal which means to the exponent of six you just do a vice versa you divide by 10 to the exponent of six this value here you just divide it by 10 to the exponent of six all right which is going to give you 20 comma 8 
3, 3, 3, 3, and so forth. So it's going to be 20,833 now in mega Pascal. So this is your stress. So divide by 10 to the exponent of 3 this value. You are now having your answer in mega Pascal. So it's just the opposite. If you want to convert to kilo Pascals, you divide by 10 to the exponent of 3. That's the opposite of what you want to do is the one that you, 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 you do so that you can have your answer in those uh, mega or kilopascals and so forth. Okay, anyways, let's see another part of the question where we are given in this case to find the total extension in the bar. What is going to be the total extension, which means we are talking about what? About the change in length. All right. We are talking about the change in length which we are referring to as x so this is 7.12 which is our x normally or someone can use it as change in length like that it's still one and one and the same thing all right so there is this formula that always i love i like to work around this formula because it's easier for me to just transpose and make the subject what i need in this case okay we know this formula is given in our formula sheet as E is equal to FL over AX, where F is the, uh, the, stress, the force that you are given, the length, the area. So this is the length that we are given from one point to another. Then this is the change in length, which is the extension or the increase or a decrease in length. So this is the one that we need. We have got E. We have got F, we have got L, we have got A. So let us just make this to be the subject. It's easier that way. Yes, there are so many ways we can uh, follow so many uh, concepts, but this formula is in your formula sheet, so which means it has to be used. All right, so let's just cross multiply E, AX is equivalent to FL, and we want to calculate X, so definitely divide by EA, both sides by EA. So take note, here we started by what? cross multiply so that's it guys your x is going to be fl over ea and if you cross check i in most of my classes i use this formula because it's easier just you transpose then substitute so your f remember everything is there uh, let's take our information our f is 300 kilonewton which is 300,000 or 300 times 10 to the exponent of 3 all right times the length which is this one from one point to another which is 0 comma 95 all right meters over e which is the young's modulus of 110 gigapascal which is to the exponent of what 9 so it's 110 times 10 to the exponent of of 9 in this case then also we've got our area remember area as we said area is s squared which is 0 comma 1 2 squared so we are going to multiply by 0 comma 1 2 squared just like that everything can work out so nice and pretty uh, so what will be our x now which is the change in length we are going to obtain something like 1 comma 7 9 9 2, 4, something like that, 2, 4 times 10 to the exponent of uh, negative 4. So this is already in meters. So you can just run to three decimal place, which is uh, 1, 7, 9, 9 times 10 to the exponent of minus 4 in meters. Yes, you can write in millimeters. How do you convert to millimeters? Multiply by 1,000, the opposite of what you want to do. Milli means to the exponent of minus 3. So you multiply by 10 to the exponent of 3 which is going to give you 0 comma 7 0 comma 1 7 uh, 9 9 uh, something like that which is in millimeters that is if you want to but you can just leave your answer like that so we've got the change in length in this case all right anyways uh these are the typical uh, considerations that you are supposed to know or to have when answering these typical questions anyways let us see what we have on 7.2 where we are given a certain diameter of a steel cable of a lift is 24,4 millimeters again we are given the Young's modulus of elasticity of uh, steel and the cable is that one so guys this one is just a repetition isn't it so let us just take our information here and see what we have so we've got the diameter here uh, this is 7.2 
So it's just a repetition, this one. A diameter of 24,4 uh, millimeters. So converting to meters, definitely divide by 1,000 is going to give us 0, uh, 0,0244 in meters. All right, what else do we have? The Young's modulus of elasticity, which is your E. So you've got your E here, which is 209 uh, gigapascal. All right. Then the length is actually 31 meters long when the lift is at the ground level, which means that the distance in between that your length, which is uh, 31 meters. All right. This is the original length. Calculate the extension, guys. Take note. Same question as just like this one, but only that we are given when a mass of 0 0.88 tons is loaded into the lift. There is a uh, 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 a mass of 0 point. Uh, 88 tons which is loaded so definitely what do we hear from that the weight which is the force so we are going to obtain the force then we can uh, apply the same thing just like what we did because here we have the force but here we do not have force so we, so our force is just going to be mg from weight which is equivalent to mg mass must be in uh, kilograms so which means here our mass is going to be 0 0.88 ton which is times 1000 which is 880 kgs remember you multiply by 1000 because in a ton we've got 1000 kgs so f which is equivalent to mg is going to be 880 by 9,8 that's our force or the weight that we are going to have which is going to give us 8624 newton all right so the force is there now 8,624 Newton. We have got the force now. We have the force, then how can we calculate the extension of the cable? Guys, we talked about this, so, and everything is there. This time, it's a circular thing, and the area is just going to be pi d squared now over 4. So we're going to have pi d squared over 4. This is our area now. So you work with uh, a sh the shape that you are given, but the formula is not going to change how you calculate that x just like what we did here where we ended up with x as fl over ea. So we can just substitute on this formula everything. Okay, so we say it on that formula. Um, okay, let me just put it aside. So this is just our information. So we said x here. If we make x to be the subject, you're going to be left with fl over ea. So it's just a compose. Everything is there. We have got everything. So let's just put everything that we have uh, according to 8.2. Now the force that we call. So you only see the difference was that we are given the mass and it helped you to have the, the force. That is the only part that is major here. So you're going to take this force now, which is uh, 8,624. That was our force times the length. So you're taking the force times the length, which is 31. Okay. Everything over E, which is uh, 209 times 10 to the exponent of 9. 209 times 10 to the exponent of 9 times the area. Now we are saying this is... A circular part that you're talking about so it's going to be pi d squared over 4 so we are now back to this now pi d squared over 4 so it's going to be times pi times d which is this value guys we just have to write as it is 0 comma 0 uh, 2 4 4 make sure that you square this all right everything over 4 okay and the other thing Make sure that for your answer to be exact, just try by all means to just put this in a bracket. This part here, just put it in a bracket. And this is going to give you the overall change in length, which is going to be 2,73567 uh, something like that times 10 to the exponent of negative 3 in meters, which is uh, round off to three decimal places. It's going to be 2,736 times 10 to the exponent of minus 3 in meters so that's it so like i said if you want to convert you can convert to millimeters where you're going to multiply by 10 to the exponent of uh, 3 which is going to give you 2,736 and that value means it's now in millimeters like that so you can write this as 
times 10 to the exponent of minus 3 meters but as you know guys 10 to the exponent of minus 3 means what milli so it's going to give us millimeters so we can write it like this or you can write it like that okay. what we just need is the change in length so as we can cross check guys that's what we had on this question which is on stress strain uh, and the young's modulus of elasticity which is actually nine marks everything so it's all about the formulas that you're supposed to know that's the first thing you're supposed to know the exact formula to work with so i'm going to have another way uh, where we are going to consider uh, manipulation of formulas joining of formulas so that they can give us something uh, which is another calculation because uh, maybe it's not that clear but we shall have it work we shall work on it from another view or from another angle so that you actually understand what i'm saying but using this formula that i listed here if you are able to to work with this formula guys it's going to be easier for you especially on this topic it's going to be very very easier to know this formula all right and to use it actually you don't need to know it because you're actually given what you need is to know how to transpose so what i'm simply saying is this when okay these are the formulas that you're given and already the formula you'll be given so all these formulas you have them so you can transpose whatever that you'll be given but that's what you have so that's it guys from Amazon African Motives working on engineering science and for till we meet again